Hi everyone, I'm Margarita Moradova, a personal stylist and fashion consultant from Kyiv, Ukraine. And today we're going to talk about a topic that I'm pretty sure by the name definitely has already triggered some of you to a degree. And just making a disclaimer that I absolutely stand for each and every person's age. I was never in my life concerned about my age or someone age. I feel like our society still has a lot of work to do in terms of ages and, and thinking about other people's ages and what's appropriate and what's not, blah blah blah. And specifically also I feel like it's totally different topic and it deserves a different specific video, but I feel like our society does not divide this ageist attention to men and women equally. I feel like women definitely are more susceptible to the whole ageism influence but also women are affected by ageism so much more just compare all the editorials and all the women absolutely washed out by the photoshop and all of their things and their faces and their beautiful faces disappeared yet men and their features are accentuated for example on different covers especially esquire and stuff all of their wrinkles are accentuated and even kind of detailed to make them look more like aged and also the language around aging is so different for men compared to women you hear this whole he's aged like fine wine but for her it's like oh she's aged oh she definitely looks her age whatever the f means or oh she doesn't look her age or you you look beautiful for your age which is the worst kind of backhanded compliment in my opinion i feel like this is the disclaimer that i need to make for me personally and for you as well to let you know where i stand in all of this and this video and this video is five items that make you look older this is definitely kind of a uh, very flashy name but what i mean by this video there's definitely some styles and some specific items that add I feel like not necessarily even age but more status and more officialism to your outfit and therefore they can promote your look to a different degree and they can make you look more polished in a way that could make you look older and there's nothing bad about looking older but for some people it's not necessarily something you're willing to do or you're doing consciously if that's what you're doing good for you go girl if that's not what you're doing just take note of these things and i'm not necessarily saying don't wear this don't wear that but we need to wear things in a smart way we need to pair things in a way that uh, they do not only look good on us but also work for our goals and my goals in terms of styling for my clients as well is obviously just making them look as good as they can but also making their outfits to represent what they feel and how they feel so mostly my clients do not want to look older and many people I know do not necessarily want to look older they can want to look polished and more put together that's one thing but looking older is not everyone's goal from what I know let me know in the comments below if that's your goal that's totally okay the wait is over. The sign up for the annual most extensive fashion forecasting webinar called Trendbook 2024 is now open. An event that thousands of participants have already experienced. An event where in more than four hours and over 500 pages of reports, we delve into our details of the fashion industry's future of the next year. Trendbook is an absolute must-have for stylists, journalists, merchandisers, PR professionals, brand owners, and fashion enthusiasts. We will discuss prints, fabrics, colors, textures, all the fashion silhouettes for the next year for each and every fashion category, macro and micro trends in the fashion world. Also must-haves for the next year in terms of fashion on things that will go out of fashion for 2024. We will explore all the new and fresh styling methods as well as tricks and tips on how to make your outfit more interesting and current. You'll receive more than 30 complete outfit formulas for each and every season. All participants also receive an enormous 
Trend Book 2024 PDF document with more than 500 pages along with the webinars recording. Registration and all the webinar info is going to be via the link below. So some of the things that I'm going to be mentioning are definitely not necessarily like anti-trends or something not to wear, but in order to wear these things, you need to put more effort, so much more effort to a point where one questions if it's even worth it. So the first thing that definitely ages you is an all vintage look. So a full vintage outfit that's consisting of vintage items. And when I'm saying vintage, I'm saying actually 80s, 70s and older. So not necessarily 90s, 90s and 2000s are not aging, but 80s, the power shoulder and stuff, especially if everything is literally vintage. So everything's from that era and the shoes, especially the accessories are the giveaway item, honestly. So if you're pairing like a vintage skirt and at least a vintage blazer with modern accessories, you're good to go. But if you're pairing them with a vintage bag and vintage shoes, and those are the giveaway, dead giveaway item, this is the problem. And same goes for 50s, 60s, 70s, 20s, obviously. I'm not sure every, anyone's wearing 20s full vintage outfit, but if you do, that's definitely aging you for sure. So the thing I'm suggesting you do, not only for the sake of looking your age, not looking older, but also for the sake of looking current and also for the sake of mixing styles and looking presentable and modern, is mixing these things. So take one or two vintage items and mix them with modern current items. Let's say you're taking a vintage bag and then shoes, but mix them with jeans and a t-shirt and a blazer so that they can play with each other and balance each other out in terms of style. And it's going to create a much more beautiful, voluminous 3D look. It's going to look more cohesive and uh, therefore it's going to look more beautiful on you. It's going to look like it attracts and reflects your personality as opposed to like a full on costume or like museum kind of an outfit. The next thing that definitely ages everyone, and I'm saying absolutely everyone, except like full on Alban blonde, so totally blonde, super, super young, seamless skin people, is deep purple like super super deep purple and then grayish dirtier colors like grayish green grayish mustard yellow and then grayish brown those are literally one of the worst colors to wear specifically in the portrait area and the portrait area is the area around your face this one is a prominent one this is the area that attracts the most attention therefore you have to pay more attention to dress yourself specifically in this area what prints you wear what colors materials and stuff so definitely what you can do it's not necessarily you cannot wear these colors i actually love a grayish kind of brown but what I do is I mix it for example if that's like a sweater I mix it with a white tee under it so that there's something that brightens up the look and obviously you can wear these colors on the bottoms in terms of like pants and stuff and jeans and skirts but also accessories so the further it is from your face the more safe is this option so definitely experiment with these colors wear these colors but be conscious of how you're styling them and then there's the trifecta those are the three materials that have the aging factor velvet fur and tweed those three are the worst if you're styling them in the, a very classical way, if you're not balancing them out with more current, casual, sporty, youthful things. What I'm saying is, for example, you're wearing a uh, velvet top. If you're wearing classic pants, classic pumps, and then a classic bag, and there, God forbid, a fur coat, 
and then maybe also a string of pearls this is going to be the kind of outfit that's first of all very one dimensional because it's very classy one note but second of all it's going to age absolutely everyone and i'm saying everyone me including me so what i suggest you do is you're looking at something that's one of these materials so for example like a velvety top maybe a fur coat and then maybe let's say a tweed blazer tweed chanel blazer and then you're pairing them with something that's on the opposite end of the styling spectrum so let's say this one's very classy you're pairing them with something sporty or something casual or something punk or something dramatic so something that's going to casualize and kind of neutralize the accentuatedness of this thing so let's say a velvety top and jeans let's say a tweed blazer and then a t-shirt and trainers and track pants so something that's very very different in terms of aesthetic and style from the thing that you're working with and for fur coats let's say those could be definitely like jeans and a t-shirt or maybe like pants uh, suit pants and then like a uh, blouse or maybe even let's say a t-shirt long sleeve sweater etc and then sneakers loafers basic minimalistic heels but not something overtly extremely womanly feminine and classic because therefore you're going to sway your outfit into a different more aging direction the next thing that's definitely very popular although they're very prominent and very popular old money style if you're wearing like a casual minimalistic old money outfit it's absolutely okay but if you're going all in and wearing jackie o old money style and you're wearing a string of pearls specifically because a string of pearls and also clip-on earrings are definitely the things in brooches are definitely things that paired with other classic items and old money style can age you 100% this is where you go wrong so if you want to go old money style definitely go that way but sway it into a different more minimalistic more kind of obscure direction where you're not all in vintage old money style you're more current old money style and the last thing I just wanted to accentuate is a classy 50 style strain of pearls. This is something that definitely, in terms of pairing, needs to be paired with something very current or very minimalistic and basic in order not to add some age and officialism to your outfit. So let's say I'm wearing a strand of pearls, but I'm pairing it with a chunky sweater and then jeans or I'm pairing it with a blazer and a shirt and then pants so something very masculine so obviously the same approach opposite ends of a styling spectrum and this is the way to go in terms of making this specific trend work because honestly for the year 2024 like a classy 50s strand of pearls is going to be very in and i'm actually talking about all the other trends that are going to be very in for 2024 in our yearly beautiful online master class that's called trend book 2024 this is a grandiose huge yearly master class that i do every year actually at the beginning of January and you're welcome to join via the link below and all the details about Trendbook 2024 are going to also be via the link below on our online fashion education platform marais.me and um, yeah this is it for this video let me know in the comments below what's the thing that kind, not only triggers you but you've noticed that's aging in terms of fashion on other people maybe on yourself as well and uh, yeah this is it for this video let me know in the comments below if you like this one and i will see you in the next video bye